And now back to the unrest in Venezuela. A pair of leading Venezuelan opposition figures, Leopoldo Lopez and Antonio Ledesma, were taken from their homes early this morning. And we are going to take you live now to Caracas, Venezuela. CBS 4's Stefano Pazaban is there, where the chaos, we're told, continues. Stefano, tell us, what's the reaction in the streets there in Caracas to the arrest of the opposition leaders? Well, the reaction, Eugene, here are of deep concern and deep worry. This new, this new dramatic uh, escalation, this new dramatic development that happened overnight has definitely let a sign on uh, the, especially the opposition movement. Let's take a closest look at, in particular, the case of Leopoldo Lopez. After f more than three years in military jail, he was granted house arrest just a few weeks ago on July the 7th. In what, for people who close, uh, who monitor Venezuela closely, we were thinking it was a sign that the government and the opposition were trying to look for a common ground, trying to look for a possibility of dialogue. Of course, uh, he's now back out of the game. He has been brought back to the same military prison that lawyer, his personal lawyer has been told us. And we understand that this is a new warning sign of an escalating crisis down here in Caracas. I know, as you mentioned, Leopoldo Lopez had just been released to house arrest after spending some time actually locked up in jail. What is the Venezuelan government saying at this point about the decision to actually go to his home just after midnight and take him back? Why did they do this? The Supreme Court, Lorraine, has released a statement saying that both Lopez and Ledesma were trying to leave the country to flee from Venezuela in what would have been a breach of the house arrest. The, uh, the opposition led the National Assembly, the parliament, which is controlled here in Caracas by the opposition, is saying that these two figureheads are actually political prisoners who are being used as a weapon from the government to intimidate the opposition, to intimidate the protest movement. Caracas has been seen people on the streets in social and political unrest for well over four months now and more than 120 people have been reported that and this is yet another sign of that things are getting worse here uh, it definitely seems like some uncertain times there in Caracas and throughout Venezuela we're going to keep an eye on it for sure uh, because that community is very closely linked to the community here in South Florida Stefano Pazaban reporting live from Caracas thanks so much